Let's take a look at solving complex logarithmic equations. What we mean by complex is that we can't set a logarithm equal to a logarithm and then equate because the bases are the same, we equate what's inside. It, what makes it complex is that we have an additional piece that, for which we cannot use logarithm properties to pull things together. And so, uh, and then equate those inside pieces of the log. So for this guy, we need to use the properties to combine these two. Then we'll have a log equals a number, and then we convert to exponential from there and can solve it. And so let's use the property for logs that says log of the first piece, which is positive. And then because we have minus the second one, the what's inside the second logarithm goes in the denominator of what's inside. Remember, this is a common log, so it's base 10. We're going to convert to exponential. 10 to the first equals what's inside. So that gives us, I'm going to start over here, 10 to the first equals 2x over x minus 3. It looks ugly, but that's okay. We're going to multiply by x minus 3 so that we can eliminate the fractions and what we get is this. Let's go ahead and expand that left side. 10x minus 30 is equal to 2x. Then let's subtract 2x and add 30 so that we can get everything on one side. That gives us 8x is equal to 30. Divide both sides by 8 and x is 30 over 8. Don't forget to simplify any fraction you've got. x is equal to 15 over 4. Now, I'm going to go ahead and box this, but before we can move on to something else, we've got to check our variable solution back up into the original problem, because remember, regardless of whether this is a positive or negative solution, when you put it back up into the original log, what's inside must be positive. So 2 times 15 over 4, still positive, that's okay. 15 over 4 here, well, 15 over 4 is 3 and change, which is more than the 3 you're taking away, so that is positive as well. So we're okay. We get to keep 15 over 4. For the next one, we have the same bases of the logs again, so we can bring those two together. And remember, again, we can't just say log equals log because this guy's sitting over here. Now, I know it's a 1 again. That's boring. It could be any number over here. It doesn't always have to be a 1. Let's pull together those two pieces of the logarithm, and we get log base 2 of x times x minus 1 is equal to 1. We do that because they're both positive, so they both uh, go in what would we consider the, multi the numerator, sorry, <laughs> over anything. If there were multiple logs and there were minuses, they would go in the denominator of the log. So let's go ahead and convert 2 to the first equals what's inside. And I'm going to write that over here. 2 to the first equals what's inside. I'm going to go ahead and multiply that together. x squared minus x. And now this is a quadratic. Let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. We can factor that. Remember, that's always your first go-to move. If you can factor, you're going to factor. Let's check our factoring. x squared minus 2x plus x is minus x minus 2. So the factoring works. So let's go ahead and write our solutions as x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. Now we have to go back to the original. Let's try the negative 1 first. When we put that in here, we're taking the log of a negative number. Not going to work because negative numbers are not in the domain of a logarithmic function. Let's go ahead and put the 2 in. Log base 2 of 2 plus log base 2 of 2 minus 1 is 1. And so that is still a positive number, so we can get then a final answer of 2. So that's it. Really what's the big woo-hoo with these is that you use your logarithm properties to pull all the logs together so that you get a log equals a number, regardless of what the base is. It could be natural log, then it would be e raised to the other side. Log base 5 would be 5 raised to the other side. And that's going to equal what's inside. You get an equation. If it's a quadratic, just use your quadratic skills to be able to solve it. Either factor, quadratic formula, square root method. And when you get down to the bottom, don't forget to check your answers. Hope you're having a great day.